Hi guys, it's your girl Hawa Karim and you are welcome to Cool Trends. Please follow us on all social media handles at Cool Entertainment GH and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. My name once again is Hawa Karim and today I promise to bring you exciting news. Please stay with me, I will be back with Trent after this. <music> Welcome guys, let's now do trend number one for today and we are starting off with a lady who went off social media Yes, a lot of people were like, you know, where is fellow Nuna? Where are you? Where are you? But guess what? She is back and she is back with a banger. She is promoting her new song titled Tao Actress Enya Semketwa. Anywhere you see her, she's rubbing Tao and people are complaining on social media. And what for say? Yes, we understand you are promoting your song, but Chale, I say it's too much. Because interview be over Kobiana, watch a chair Tao, a bonny moon, a big bonny tea, say white are white, red are red. And people are like, come on. It's not just say if somebody comes out with a song, be Bikini or no social bikini and Romiana as a new dit in the adults in the industry. Come on, a lot of people are complaining. Almost say Ghanaian musicians, especially in Bano, it's like they promote the song with um, um body, not even the song. So, what do you think, guys? What do you think about this particular one from Felinuna? The song is ish, but the fact that she appears on, you know, shows for interviews in towel and all of that. Let me know your take on that. But before that, let's go check out a video of where she appeared in towel for an interview. We'll be back for train number two. Everything is gone. It be big piano new a wey nyango pon on to me end. If I talk every day, say uti me na uma me yare, o papa yare, uti me na uba yare, and I say uwa kasa wey yare na mi lusa say say si a wey yare. And everything is gone. So yes, that was Feli Nuna promoting her song in the studios of OKFM, OK wrapped in towel. What do you think, guys? Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Let me know your take on it. And let's get interactive. So with that being said, let's now move straight to train number two for today. And we are talking about Kiddy. You know, I didn't really talk much about the just ended VGMA, but I want to highlight on something small. I mean, something very little. So during, you know, um, the awards night, Kiddy actually won the overall act of the year and with his Thanksgiving speech and everything, I mean, everything was okay and all of that, but he mentioned MTN, which a lot of people were very disappointed at. So after the show, you know, a lot of people were talking on social media, ah, how can you go on Vodafone stage and be thanking MTN? Come on, what is wrong with you? A day and day, what happened? And a lot of people wanted to know, you know, um, the reason why Kiddy did that. And so he was invited in an interview um, with Abeku, Abeku Santana, actually. And Abeku asked him the same question. And this is what he had to say. So according to uh, Kiddy, for him, he, he actually believes that MTN is actually the reason why he's Kiddy today. I, because we behind him say hit maker, MTN hit maker, and a man Kiddy, a year Kiddy. We didn't know him, he wasn't really loud then, but MTN hit maker and a man in your dean and everything. So for him, he just mentioned it out of excitement. It wasn't anything planned. One well, planning, but I say, Nijin and bro, so and when you're too excited, I say, Open so can send your, your career started and everything. So it was just like a slip of tongue somehow but when she done in the forward side he was just just excited so what do you think about kiddie's explanation saying say it was out of excitement in our uncle prezi mtn please leave a comment below let me know your take on this particular one and yes let's go check out the interview with abe santana his interview actually i will be back for train number three one the artists of the year and you acknowledge mtn hit maker as the Breakthrough of your career, and you have a big you. Did you do it intentionally? I'm not sure. One shed and dream. <laughs> so, first of all, every person, every human can attest the fact that in certain situations, due to excitement, you always do certain things, and later realize, oh, maybe I should have said it this way or that way. So I wasn't intentional, first of all. It wasn't say I planned to say but it was, you know, sometimes I could, I could tell for a fact say every speech I gave on the stage on that night, I probably don't remember even what I said because the anxiety, the, you know, the excitement and all of that sometimes clouds your mind and you're just talking. So that wasn't intentional. 
So I, I mean, it's, I apologize for, I, I understand these, you know, politics behind the brand competitions and all of that. It's, it's something that is not done. I saw Captain Planet's tweets and he's absolutely right. You know, these things are background things that might not necessarily be spoken about in the open, but they are things that are there, you know. But there's another side of it too that we have to understand that as much as, yes, you don't come and mention some brands and some brands, the kiddie story can also never be told properly without the acknowledgement of how I was introduced to Ghana. Every interview I've ever gone to, Okay, this, local... se this segment is MTN sponsored when you do with me about Every interview I mean, yeah, both home and abroad, BBC, uh, I've done some for some CNN, I've done everywhere I've gone, they always, when they are introducing me, they always mention and in 2015, he went to MTN Headmaker. Means the kiddie story will not be told without telling people where he started from. See, yes. um, so yes, that was Kitty explaining himself to Abe Kusantana. What do you think, guys? Do you think he gave a valid explanation or still na masa masa? Please leave a comment below. I really want to know what you think about this particular story. So with this, let's now move straight to trend number three for today. And we are talking about the latest Mr. Loverman in town. I Mr. Loverman because he said he's going to give and I say he's actually giving Ghanaian ladies tips on how to find true love i'm talking about a plus so yes um just a saturday on united showbiz you know the, a lot of conversation went on to say we bad topic we bad no marker and everything so they were discussing all of these topics and uh, a plus car say he wants to just like or oh, try ghana for if you really want to find true love in ghana these and these and these are the things you need to do and i just say or oh, let's say in yama bibri guys so what do you think about his list before i even talk a little about this let's go listen to him when i return i will talk i mean i'm going to say something small and we'll move on to trend number four <laughs> Na se kum ha na opese wotna na opese ware na find love wo hadia and em pacho there are two things that you can do you can decide to be lesbian and find a love and find love in a woman or if you are looking for love in a man in this Ghana i beg you Jesus that, Christ. i'm going to tell you what you are supposed to do Number one, you are supposed to have a lot of respect mm -hmm. for your man. Thank you. If you don't want to love a man, it's not by force. No, women, and women cannot even love. They are not and capable of well, love. Well, yeah. You are supposed to have a yes. lot of respect. It's very serious. But uh, you are supposed to have a lot of respect for your man. Mm. Your man is supposed to have a lot of respect for you. and love for you. Because you give and take thing. It is not an event. Mm. Me, the person me yebi biama oba. Bon, okay. Oh, he ain'tio. Oba ko din ko so da. I just hear you, man. Thank you. So what? 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 Shake and you hear you, mother. Yes. Shake and you hear you. Where you man? Then. Yeah. Nagana her guess now maban. Maya no say what a man can do, a woman can do better. Entino. Mo person mo huri jina biama ko. Then I will care. Then I open then. Obasi on TSU. So open so worry what had the ah. Oh ha. Yen ya coach ano. Open so worry what ha. I will say we are Oba. What is our worry as? Mhm. Oh. I think they're serious. Yes. Me me ma. A man penny for. So I'm from the country. I'm saying. We be worry what ha. This is how it is. Mm -hmm. It won't change overnight, but you be changing. You know, maybe what and you be more bored, ba, be more umbu neire, be more. What you say? So now your man can crack a cry to get out of the system to educate. So yes, after watching the video, please let me know what you think of what A Plus said. What do you think about his tips? You know, people are saying on social media that we truly love it. There is no formula. Obi wo amukwa se love at first sight. Onu do hu obi anana. 
people who will be for the first time and things can just work out for them or being so bad and you man a plus a can you know but will still end up in a broken marriage and a broken relationship just say hey kusiaga so please what do you think about what a plus is saying do you think send the tips me and no one no no and i said there's still something i want fun can please leave a comment below so let's now wrap up with my last trend for today and we are talking about a fiasua snega I if your trust nigga has raised concern about something, just say new boy free a pal to say new easy before pa and our baby posty bb or Facebook. Um, yeah, Facebook and our sense of posty or Instagram. So, according to her, let me read what she said. She said, ECG from first of May till today, we have experienced more than eight overnight doom so seven all day off. Please be specific and give us a calendar. This is disgusting and disrespectful to the people on Spinters. Now she said, Doom Sonu, Ebi Asode. So she's very, very angry right now. Now, comment says she knew put the Jai Jai. Uncle Four say, Nasa would you all brag you? Usu was sicka. Ain't it why you complaining of Doom So? Nakasikin India. Doom So far on her bay. Now, so when you generate a car and now plan to be a own side, you know, so people are like, some are siding with him. Because it doom so they are not yet in pie, we all know it's true. But in Kofosi, because of the way she lives on social media, or high pin who do do, or was the candidate in there, so they were not experienced. I mean, they were not expecting her to come out to complain about doom so and everything. What you say? So, what do you think about this comment? Do you think, say, she's actually speaking on behalf of Obia, not because of on any situation? And I say, Masa Masa. Sika or no suka, whether money or no money, doom son a bit a canopa. Please, what do you think about this story as well? And this is coming out from a fiasha snake and nibu a fupa. So, this is a simple letter going out to ECG. So, yes, let me know what you think about today's stories. I hope you had fun, it was exciting, and I promise to bring you more exciting news. So, this is how I wrap up today's episode here on Cool Trends. But please don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, everywhere at Cool Entertainment GH. And kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel as well if you haven't. My name is Hawa Karim, and I will bring you interesting trends again very, very soon. For now, it's for Bye. Mwah.